So I know I said earlier that I was going to use my table saw, however, after kind of looking and thinking about the plywood and trying to to cut it into two foot wide, two foot by four foot strips, I thought about it and I went, that's going to be a, that's going to be on a little bit more tricky side if I want to just rip, 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 rip. So what I decided to do is I'm going to double up my pieces of plywood. As you can see, I've got them aligned and clamped together. Um, I'm going to snap some chalk lines. I actually set the plywood on top of my table saw um, without the uh, blade up. It's all down. I'm just going to use my skill saw, or I'm sorry, my circular saw. Uh, I'm going to snap a couple chalk lines and then uh, give it a cut. If you don't have a chalk line, that's fine. You don't have to have a chalk line. Uh, but basically, you're going to want to divide the board or the plywood into four two foot long strips. So two by four, two by four, two by four, two by four. So you want a two, four, six, or you need a line straight across it, two, four, and six. That should do the trick. So, after a quick cheese stick break, I'm hungry, uh, I got my circular saw set up back there. Uh, I'm not a big fan of a circular saw just because it's very easy to be cutting and then all over the place, but whatever. I know I could use my table saw without the fence on it, but I feel like I wouldn't have enough control over it. Um, just personal preference. Um, if I'm going to use a table saw, I'm going to use the fence. I've already gotten my finger before with it. That was not fun. So, I uh, will do my three cuts. Make sure that if you have somebody that can help you or is there that can help hold the boards for you, see if they can help you out. Um, otherwise, you know, just make sure that your uh, where you're going to cut's not sit hanging over um, an edge so that you're not going to, or make sure it's hanging over an edge so you're not going to ruin something. Check that a couple times. Um, and just go slow, be careful. Wear your eyes and ears. Alright, so, I had a small mishap in there, gotta overcome the issues that arise, it's resiliency. So, I now have eight pieces of wood, or of two by four, no, I'm sorry, eight pieces of plywood cut two foot wide, four foot long. So I just had three cuts to do, and I was set. These will be the six of them. No. Three, six of them will be sides or sides and bottoms. So one, two, three. One of the pieces will be, and that'll be for two planters. Uh, so if you if you only if you're building a planter, you just need one sheet of plywood. It'll be perfect. So you have one, two, three, and then one of the two foot sections or two by four sections that I have, I'm gonna cut it in half later on, and that's going to be the end caps or the ends to them. All right, so uh, like with many plans that you come up with in your head, um, you think about things as you're working that make you say to yourself, Hmm, I think I want to do something a little bit different. I want to make a modification. Totally fine. Um, I'm deciding that the two pieces of plywood that are going to be the bottom of my table. Uh, initially, I said the box is going to be 24 by 24. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, two foot or 24 inches tall, two inches. I mean, 
24 inches or two feet wide and then four foot long. Uh, two of the, the two bottom pieces of plywood, I'm going to actually rip them. I got out my table saw because uh, it's not going to be this atrociously wide piece I need to cut. It's just long. Um, I decided I'm going to trim those down to 23 inches um, for the sake of I want to be able to I want the plywood to sit like so. The reason being is plywood strength comes from like this, not like this. So on a piece of plywood, where it gets its strength is screwing into it like this, not like this. And because of the planter box, it'll be getting wet some. I mean, I'm gonna paint it, so hopefully it kind of seals it a bit, but there's gonna be a lot of weight pushing down. So what I wanna do is I want the base of the plywood to be you know, slapped in there like this so that the drill, that a lot of the support is coming from the sides of the plywood going in. And then I'm also gonna be building some uh, of those, the scrap pieces of two by four. These guys from earlier that we did not use in the legs um, they are going to go on the underneath side, so from our little plan here. So those are the plywood. The 2x4 is going to go like so. Okay, obviously that's a really rough picture, but it's going to butt up underneath. And then the metal straps they're going that I got are those long metal bands with the, the holes in it gonna screw it into the bottom and then bend them up so they're gonna go like this okay this is a side view no I did not take an art class I also never took wood shop that's why this is so painful to watch for those of you that are experts in the field all right eyes and ears So, what I am now going to cut are the end pieces for the box itself. Um, I'm taking two of the two of the eight sheets of plywood or pieces of plywood that we cut a couple minutes ago. So, two of these bad boys. Um, they are not the 23-inch pieces that I ripped just a minute ago. Those I have down there on the ground. So these are the actual 24 inch wide, or pretty darn close to 24 inch wide. Um, what I need to do is cut them so that they're basically 24 by 23. So I have my table saw here set to rip uh, 23 inches. Now if you have a table saw and you're going to do this, uh, basically you throw this sucker on here like so. Make sure that if you are ever cutting a piece of plywood or something, if you can, have your the factory cut or the mill cut up against the fence. That way it's as straight as you can possibly make it. So what's going to happen is I'm going to cut it like so. Then this piece is done. Then I'm going to turn the whole thing around. Cut it like so. Then this piece will be done. There'll be a little sliver taken out of the center. It'll, the scrap will end up being about a half inch wide. Okay. I need my eyes and ears. <laughs> 